After many Hollywood stars expressed their support for Jews amid the storm surrounding Kanye West anti-Semitic remarks, last night was Kim Kardashian's turn to criticize her ex-husband and upload an Instagram post supporting the Jewish community. More on that is plastic surgeon, activist, and superstar TV personality, Dr. Sheila Nazarian. Sheila, thank you for joining us. Thanks so much for having me back. Well, the whole Kardashian family, Gigi Hadid, and many others posted in favor of the Jewish people these past days. Can you explain the sudden shift? What's different this time? As you saw Adidas cut ties with Kanye uh, right now? Well, I think um, some of the superstars are genuine, and I think some of the other ones are gaslighting. In the case of the Hadids, they continue to support the BDS movement, but at the same time coming out and saying we support the Jewish people. So I'm not sure how I feel about that. Uh, but others, I think, especially more famous people on the left, the more liberal uh, Hollywood stars, because Kanye is more of a conservative uh, Trump supporter, maybe they feel a bit more comfortable coming out and calling him out where they would not otherwise feel comfortable calling someone else out. Still, part of what Kim wrote there is hate speech will never be okay or forgivable. They all wrote pretty similar content. Do you think they really care or is this like a trend? In Kim's case, annoying her ex-husband? No, I think the Kardashians, having had some limited exposure to them, I think they really do care. Um, I, I don't think they're anti-Semitic at all. And I, if anything, I do think they truly do support the Jewish people. Sheila, you yourself personally are doing an amazing job as an unofficial ambassador to Israel of the Jewish people in general. Tell us some more about your activity in short. Oh my gosh, where do I start? Uh, it's funny to be on today. Last night I spoke at the UCLA Hillel to Bruins for Israel. I had dinner at Noah Tishby's house. So there, it's kind of like a nonstop job when with all of these people jumping on the anti-Semitism and BDS band bandwagon. I feel like some of us uh, influencers are like the Iron Dome of social media, just trying to uh, tell the truth and uh, you know keep standing up for the Jewish people, um, bring in our allies as many as we can to sort of quell this wave of anti-Semitism that's going on right now. I think it's all about speaking up. I think putting our heads in the sand and trying to hide and pretending that it's going to go away has never worked in our Jewish history. So I think that we all have to really dig into our strength. We have to dig into our voice. We have to find our voices and we have to learn how to use them. Sheila, you recently tweeted also about the oppression your family felt in Iran. Do you think this cancel culture in the U.S., that is, that is scary. Do you feel like the Western world can go there too in a way? I absolutely have been saying this for months, that I smell the same kinds of smells uh, that, ha that were there before the Iranian revolution. You know, over in Iran, you get canceled by disappearing for two weeks or being killed. Here you get canceled, uh, you know, by losing your job or being deplatformed on social media or, you know, other other ways but it's it's still the same thing it's still oppression of speech it's still trying to get people who don't agree with you to be quiet or shut up so it is scary to me actually um you know in the case of kanye west speaking uh his anti-semitic farrakhan uh language is scary but you know obviously he has some mental health issues he himself has said he's been off of his medications for a couple of years we're clearly watching a manic episode happen and even though he's unwell, uh, it's still dangerous rhetoric. We know where words can lead. But at the same time, you know, if someone believes something, let them show you who they are. You can either choose to align yourself with them. You can choose to educate them and help them get better. Um, or you can choose to, you know, I don't know, do what you want. But I'm still a believer in speech and free speech. My family left everything in Iran to come here so that we could have free speech and, uh, I just think it's, it's very important, freedom of thought, freedom of speech. Speaking up is so important. Thank you for joining us, Sheila. We, we definitely need more people like you in the world. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful day. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hi, everyone. It's Emmanuel Kadosh. I wanted to invite you all to subscribe to ILTV+, where you can find our daily news and updates about Israel. 
And not only that, but live feeds, entertainment, our kosher food show, and so much more. Needless to say, your subscription to ILTV Plus helps us grow and create more content while also supporting the state of Israel. Our app is available on all platforms and devices, so I'll see you guys there.